Good morning, everyone. Thank you for attending today's uh, webinar. My name is Sing Rong. I'm a consultant in the glaucoma department of SNEC. Today, I'll be talking about glaucoma, the silent blinding disease, and how it can be treated. So what is glaucoma? Glaucoma is an eye condition that affects vision by damaging the optic nerve. This is the eye nerve that connects the eyeball to the brain, and it helps to transmit the information visual information from the eyeball to the brain for uh, processing. So vision loss in glaucoma is irreversible. Any damage to the eye nerve uh, cannot be recovered. However, if controlled well, uh, the disease can be managed and maintained. Glaucoma usually is caused by too hard the eye nerve to withstand and other causes may be related to blood circulation and lack of oxygen supply to the eye nerve. So, before understanding glaucoma, it is important pressure. This is the pressure eyeball. The eye pressure is created by the balance between the production of fluid as well as the drainage of fluid out of the eye. And too high of a eye pressure is the pressure within the eye, uh, usually the eye probably due to production exceeding the drainage. The risk factors for glaucoma includes genetic factors. If you have a family history of glaucoma, older age more than 50, a previous eye trauma or surgery, long-term steroid use, such as for allergy, eczema, and other immune-related conditions, high myopia, more than um, minus six diopters, as well as uh, eye inflammation, infection or bleeding, and other diseases that are poorly controlled, such as diabetes. The types of glaucoma can be classified into primary and secondary. Primary glaucoma constitutes about 90% of the cases in which this glaucoma develops due to an unknown cause. Secondary glaucoma is forms about 10% of cases and they can develop due to an underlying cause such as a serious eye injury, cataracts that are very mature or unstable, diabetes that are poorly controlled or eye inflammation. The types of glaucoma can be broadly classified into open or closed angle. You can see on the left is open in which the trabecular meshwork, which is the drain of the eye, is kept open for fluid to drain through. However, it is not functioning well, leading to poor out, outflow of the eye fluid. However, on the right side, you can see the closed angle in which the iris is blocking the drainage pathway of the eye, hence resulting in high, high pressure within the eyeball. The signs and symptoms of glaucoma uh, can be uh, acute or chronic in nature. In the sudden acute phase, the eye pressure uh, and it is very suddenly resulting in eye pain, redness, blurring of vision, headache, nausea, and vomiting. And when it is chronic, uh, the eye pressure uh, rises very slowly and blood vision may not be apparent and it is usually found during screening. So this is a simulation of what glaucoma patients see. Uh, in the top left picture, it is that of a normal eye in which uh, the whole vision, field of vision is clear. However, as the glaucoma progresses, you can see that uh, part of the vision, visual field is uh, compromised and you can see part of the uh, few children in the field of vision cannot be seen. And in the late stage, uh, the visual field becomes more constricted and you can see that the side visions become more blur. And in time to come, the center vision will also be affected. So how does glaucoma affect vision? As mentioned earlier on, it can constrict the visual fields. It can cause increased glare, uh, reduce contrast sensitivity, as well as the reading, uh, decrease uh, visual acuity. Why is glaucoma termed the uh, silent blinding disease? It is because uh, largely it is symptom free, with more than 80% of patients being unaware of them having glaucoma at the time of diagnosis. Glaucoma is the leading cause of global irreversible blindness, occurring in 5 to 6% of glaucoma patients. In Singapore, about 3% of those over age of 50 years old have glaucoma, and this percentage increases with age to almost 10% in those over 70 years old. 
So do consider getting screened for glaucoma if you have a family history of glaucoma or other risk factors as mentioned earlier on. So when seeing the doctor for screening for glaucoma, this is uh, the typical examination done by the doctor. We measure the eye pressure using a, a probe, as well as look at the angles of the eye using special lenses to see whether the angles, draining angles are open or closed. And we look at the eye nerve to look for evidence of glaucoma in which there is a widening cut in the center of the nerve. We also conduct glaucoma tests, which includes visual field testing. This is a machine in which the light is presented to the eye at various locations of the visual field. And in a normal eye, you can see all the lights presented. And this may worsen uh, with advancement of glaucoma. And in the advanced stages, the black areas shows that the patient cannot see the lights presented and only a center tunnel vision can be seen. We also conduct OCT tests. This is a scan of the eye nerve to look for thinning of the eye nerve, which suggests glaucoma. So how is glaucoma treated? With uh, aging, the normal the nerve function reduces over time and there's no cure for, there's no cure for blindness. However, it is present, uh, preventable. In this case, uh, there's a slow progression of the glaucoma patient. However, there are some patients who progress very rapidly, and this is where we require treatment for the patient to slow this progression of glaucoma uh, to let the patient maintain the vision. In terms of glaucoma treatment, there are all glaucoma treatment works by lowering the eye pressure within the eye, and this uh, includes eye drops, laser therapy, as well as surgery. We want to achieve a target eye pressure for the patient depending on several factors, including severity of glaucoma, type of glaucoma, the rate of progression, as well as the age of the patient. Eye drops is the first line of treatment for glaucoma and it is most commonly used. We have about five different classes available and it is individualized according to patient's needs. We do have combination eye drops available in which there are two in one types of uh, eye drop classes to reduce the eye drop burden. It is very important for patients who are on glaucoma eye drops to be adherent to the treatment so that the glaucoma condition does not worsen. We also have laser therapy for glaucoma to reduce the eye fluid production or to improve the eye fluid drainage out of the eye. And this includes the selective laser trabeculoplasty, the transclerar cyclophotocoagulation and laser iridotomy, which I'll touch on later. First, we have the SLT or the selective laser trabeculoplasty. It is uh, indicated for use in open angle type of glaucoma and performed in a clinic setting in a, as a day, day procedure. It reduces the eye pressure of the eye by applying laser at the drainage system of the eye to improve its outflow. Next, we have the laser iridotomy. As you can see in the top photo, there's a hole being made through the iris, uh, which is not usually seen by the naked eye. It is performed for closed angle type of glaucoma and uh, done as a day procedure. It improves the outflow of the eye by opening up the drainage angle and also preventing sudden glaucoma attack. Thirdly, we have the transclerar cyclo cyclophotocoagulation, TCP for short. It reduces the eye fluid production and also improves the eye fluid outflow. It can be used in both closed or angle type of glaucoma. Usually it is performed in the operating theater as sedation is required. Next, we touch on, on glaucoma surgery. It is broadly classified into traditional form of surgery as well as the new minimally invasive types. It is effective in reducing eye pressure in patients whose eye pressure are not controlled despite maximum medical or laser therapy. It is suitable for moderate to severe type of glaucoma. And for this traditional surgery, there are two main types, the trabeculectomy as well as the tube implant. For trabeculectomy, it is basically a filtering surgery in which a small flap is made in the white part of the eye at the top to allow eye fluid to flow out in a controlled manner under the lining of the eye. You can see after surgery, there's a small bubble or black form at the top part that's been covered by the upper eyelid, 
it is usually done as a day surgery. Next, we have the tube implant, in which a small tube is placed uh, through the white part of the eye and entered to the front chamber of the eye to drain fluid out of the eye to, so, uh, to, to control the eye fluid uh, and eye pressure. It is also done as a day surgery. You can see here in the photograph uh, in which a tube is seen in the upper corner part of the eye and entering the eyeball to allow excess eye fluid to drain out in a controlled manner. Next, we have the state-of-the-art minimally invasive glaucoma surgery. In the Singapore National Eye Center, we commonly use two types, the eye stent inject as well as the hydrous micro stent. These stents are used to widen the natural drainage channels of the eye. It is minimally invasive with a smaller wound and that results in a safer, quicker recovery time and still with a very good eye pressure lowering effect. However, bear in mind that this is uh, uh, indicated more for milder form of glaucoma as its uh, eye pressure lowering effect is less than that of the traditional uh, approach. And here you can see those uh, implants at the angle of the eye at the top right corner, you see the eye stand implant at the angle of the eye, which is the smallest uh, FDA approved human implant, uh, implant in the human. And the hydrous implant, you can see below, in which uh, a one quarter uh, width of the circumference of the eye is being stented by the hydrous implant at the angle. So you may ask, uh, what treatment will I need for glaucoma? So this depends. Different types and stages of glaucoma may require different treatment. And your eye doctor will advise you on the best options available for your specific condition. In conclusion, glaucoma is an eye condition that affects the eye nerve, resulting in irreversible vision loss, with high pressure being the major risk factor. Majority are symptom-free, and some may present with blurred vision, eye pain, headache, or nausea. There are different types of glaucoma, and the main aim of surgery, uh, main aim of treatment is to lower the eye pressure by eye drops, laser therapy, or surgery. With early diagnosis, appropriate treatment and adherence to treatment, blindness from glaucoma can be preventable. With that, I thank you.